I don't think we realized until Jim passed how big he was in the community. For nearly half a century, another place sandwich shop at 7th and Main made its mark on the community. At the height of success for late owners Jim and Linda Goodwin, the family managed four different restaurants. 7th Street was kind of the baby. It was the last restaurant that he bought, and as he transitioned into commercial real estate, this was the location that he kept. When the Goodwins passed, the transition and challenge to stay afloat was a constant struggle. Just last year, another place was prepared to close its doors as son, Brian Goodwin, contemplated what to do. He looked for help here in Debbie Rose, a project manager. When it came down to selling the building, uh, his heart was not in it. This is actually my favorite sandwich and everybody's been loving everything with the avocados. Looking to revamp the menu, the food, and the quality of both the service and the atmosphere, veteran restaurateur James Taylor worked with Rose to get the restaurant back on track. Appealing to the crowd today with gourmet salads, our traditional Rubens and, and giant sandwiches, and of course our homemade soups every day. I walked around going, we need to paint, we need to clean. Taylor and Rose both agree it's the customers that make a small business tick. They changed the business plans, but it was the people that responded. The passion of the customers is really what makes it a, a true labor of love. We have made friends with the community down here, and the downtown is so alive. At this end of Main Street and Market is thriving. Colin Mayfield, WLKY News.